Hi Libra, you're with a um, story that's coming forward for anyone who really identifies with the sign of Libra, um, whether you have a sun in Libra, moon in Libra, um, rising sign or Venus in Libra, um, this message could, message could really fit for you. Um, please understand that it will not fit for everyone and I do advise you not to make life decisions based off a of reading. Um, I'm not going to go too long in this intro. I just want to remind you that I will be doing an extended reading. In that reading, we will take be taking this scenario out into the future two or three months. That is my intention. And we will be looking at the people who are around you, um, trying to get a little bit of information about those people and their perception about how they connect in with the Libra energy, um, your energy. All right, let's go ahead and get started now. Current energy. Current energy, current situation for the sign of Libra. Focusing on love now, focusing on love energies. Focusing on love energies now for Libra. All right, this is going to be a more of a free, free flowing reading, Libra, I can tell. So let's just see what comes out here. So this is a free flowing reading and I'm going to take the energies as they've come out to me and we will try to dig deeper into them and see what we can get out of this um, situation. This is a current situation that Libra, this group of Libra people are experiencing. Please don't be bothered by the cards in a different direction. It just helps me. Um, it helps me to get into them, especially when the, when the energies are in flow like this, they're in flux, they're flexing, they're, they're moving. Um, and, um, and this is what I've been, um, especially this group of, of Libra people are in a recalibration space. They're in a space of recalibration. Um, and there is silence now as I go into this energy. We notice now that there are two sixes here, which is an indication that things are becoming more balanced in your life. There's more harmony. There's more equality coming in for you. Um, I think that this is a period of time that you are moving through with the Ten of Wands and the Temperance Energy, um, where you are breaking free of something that, have, that has kept you um, without maybe you even knowing it without you maybe even not perceiving it in the past with the 10 of wands in the lateral with the temperance in the lateral with the six of pentacles over the top of it and the chariot over the top of temperance with the six of cups moving you forward. Um, the, there's a situation here that's fixing itself. It's writing itself. It's coming to some sort of a resolution with the six of pentacles over the top of the 10 of wands. Now the 10 of wands is a feeling of just um, being really exhausted with something, being very tired. Remember the wands energy is energy. It is the wands energy is about movement. It's about action. It's about how we feel inside. What is the fuel that helps us step forward into something? What helps us get up in the morning? What helps us go to work if we can even go at this period of time? What helps us do what we need to do? It is the energy within us that helps propel us forward. And when we have the Ten of Wands, it is an energy of being tired, exhausted, depleted, um, feeling out of control in your own life, that other people can are in control of what you do and what your how you feel about money. Uh, other people are in control of your destiny. And we know with the Ten of Wands, it is something that we have a role in as well. 
right? We have a role in that journey that we have played. We have partaken in that in some way or another, whether if it was consciously or whether we did it without realizing it, we played a role. And I think with the Ten of Wands in the, la the lateral, the role is now um, taking shape in a different way. We are beginning to reimagine ourselves and rethink about ourselves and redesign ourselves in a way where we can bring in um, a new future for ourselves that has to do with financial equality. This is about the individual Libra people who are bringing their lives into balance so that they can bring their outer worlds into balance, so that they can bring a bigger world into balance, so they can bring a bigger yet even space into balance. So this is about the energy of momentum. And with the Libra people, it can start in a very direct way with individuals because you are about justice. You are about equality. That is what you focus on. That is what brings you stability in your life is equality. That is one of the main energies um, that somebody has, main focuses that someone has who has Libra in their chart is a focus um, on equality. So that we see here the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups coming in for you um, over the top of the Ten of Wands tells me that there is um, a recalibration on on your own personal experiences. And I know that this is um, kind of a cryptic energy, but this is an energy that's in flux. So when energies are changing and adapting and the consciousness of this group of people are adapting minute by minute, day by day, um, th there is a continual fluctuation in this energy, a continual expansion. So as I'm getting into this energy, an hour from now it will be different, a day from now it will be different because these energies are growing. This group of people are having daily epiphanies, are, are stepping forward into something now um, that it is... Um, empowering, but also destabilizing at the same time. It is what is an element of pure soul growth. So with the Six of Pentacles over the top of the Ten of Wands, we're talking about um, reaching some new stability in finances or understanding how to bring in new stability in finances or new stability in equality. Um, what you extend, what, how you are expressing yourself, how you are taking care of your life in, in a daily way with the Pentacles energy. This is your reality, how you are experiencing your reality and realizing that there are some things you can do um, to help bring in a new version of this for yourself. And part of this version is about financial stability, is about understanding um, in whatever scale you're living in this, whether you are a billionaire or a millionaire, or whether you are in the mass, um, in the mass population where you could be struggling financially because we have to really realize that the mass population on this world struggles financially. And that in itself, when I'm in this energy, is angersome. Mm. It's angersome, right? So this is what I'm, the kind of energy I'm in, Libra. So those of you who might have focused on love a month ago or two months ago, you might have been focusing on romance there is a new settling in. It's almost like the soul has to resettle itself before it can re-begin to focus again on what, it's, what it was focusing on before. And there is anger here. There is a frustration because something is not fair in this world. And I can feel it really strongly. It's coming out of me. And this is powerful energy to be in, Libra. And there is powerful change that will result from this within your own individual lives and in the world around you in ways that there is no understanding. So I'm new, moving now um, into the chariot with the temperance energy and lateral. <laughs> I'm moving out of that very intense energy. Now this energy, this chariot energy with the temperance energy lateral is also kind of an intense energy, but it's a more aligned energy. It's more balanced. So I see as you're coming out of this kind of frustration where you're noticing things around you, things within you, things around you, things around your very close proximity of your life and things around far out into the world that are out of balance. I mean, as you realize this or as you are reminded of this or really refocused on this, um, you, you move into a, a better place. It's almost like once you realize this and you sit in those energies for a little while, you absorb those energies. And then once your, your mind, once your spiritual team is kind of 
fit themselves around that energy, you can settle in and you can move forward in a more positive way. So I see that you're moving into a more positive energy um, during this period of time um, where you're becoming much more aligned with the chariot energy. This is cancer energy. This is balance. Um, this is having the balance between emotions and um, data, emotions and data, emotions and structure. This is finding a balance between the structures around you, which are in a fluctuation and the emotions within you, which are also fluctuating. Um, and there can be a real sense of impatience with this. Um, it does create somewhat of a slowdown when um, the emotions and the structures are in chain are changing. It can create a, it's almost like a swirl. It's almost like when you look at a radar map, um, when you look at the, the weather map um, and, and how the storm systems can kind of swirl and they can swirl above the, the lines that scientists put over the top of the radar, over the top of the, of the land that go vertical and horizontal. And so the, the winds of change are here and they're moving through structures. And this does create movement forward and it does feel like things are beginning to happen now. And it is a more positive energy, um, but there is a sense of impatience because it's almost like you're waiting now for the storm to be over. You're ready to move forward and you're waiting for this storm to be over. Um, you do come out of this period of time in the Six of Cups energy. Um, the Six of Cups energy is an energy of healing. It's an energy of understanding where your roots are, um, feeling the feeling of how the root system is within you, um, understanding that there is a need to have a root system um, within each and every one of us. Sometimes our roots um, merge into, into different soils, into different lands, into different belief systems, but to have a root system is very important um, to find balance because a tree um, that grows on the land and is... Um, living in the environment must have a root system else that will fall over, right? It would no longer be fed in, in one way or another. Um, and so it's important to have a root system, to know who you are, um, to know um, how to find balance in that, to reconnect in um, with your emotional place and the balance of your emotions. What brings love to you? What What is it around you that you love? Um, and this is determining the 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 dartboard, when I, when I talk about the dartboard, it's, um, if you look at a dartboard, it has a red circle in the middle and then around it are circles that go, that go around it. It's usually white and red. Um, what I've seen anyway, it may be white and black. I can't remember. Um, what I see in my mind is, is white and red and it's determining, um, in your emotional center, who is in that middle red dot for you? Who is it? Is it you and your children? Is it you and your, spouse and your children? Is it you and your spouse? Is it you and your romantic partner? Is it you and your animals? Is it you and your plants? Is it you and your children? Is it you and your parents? You know, there is a middle, uh, a middle circle. And then outside there are other um, energies that are around you that um, help build the six of cups for you. Um, so what's next in the outer circle past the middle red circle? Is it your siblings or is it your, um, the animals that you take care of? Or is it your land that you live on? Or is it the community that you live within? And what's in, in, in the, in the next circle out? What, it, what is in that circle? Is it, um, you know, you can kind of determine that. And I think the six of cups is really in that energy of determining what is it and how do you focus? How do you care for your own soul, your own heart? How do you focus on um, who is in that inner circle and who are in the closest circles to you? Because that is where your root system is. And every person here is going to find a different answer for that. Um, this is also about healing. It's about harmony. It's about settling in to a situation and um, allowing yourself to be in that emotional place, allowing yourself to flow in that emotional place. Um, there is a soul connection here for some of you. Um, if, if, you're if we're talking about now specific situations, you could have a situation here that you're moving towards, um, maybe a romantic situation that you're moving towards. Um, it does look like there is some sort of, of financial balancing that's happening here. Um, and there is movement forward now, whatever that is for you, whether it's generally in life or if it's in a relationship 
or if it's revising something in a relationship or changing something, something in your life, there is a calibration that's happening, a realignment that's happening here, and then a, a reconnection to the soul, um, to the health and the well-being of the soul, the heart and the soul, um, uh, and the, and the, the energy and the identity that stays with the soul. So this is about soul expansion, soul growth, soul well-being, soul healing with the six of cups. So you're, you're in this, again, you're in this swirling type of energy, um, in this current period of time. Now let's look at and see, um, what's here ahead in the next couple of weeks. What's here in the next couple of weeks for Libra? Let's hear in the next couple of weeks for Libra, please. Let's hear in the next couple of weeks for Libra. Start off with the world energy. We have the Empress energy. Now these energies are much more structured. Um, it's like that, that continual, that storm has kind of cleared itself out in a way. There's still change here, but there's much more balance, internal balance within the feminine. Now you have the six of wands. It's another six that we see here. So there's more stabilization and balance that's coming in for you. This is where you find your strength is in this balance all right let's go ahead and get started and i'm going to dig deeper into these energies now we do have a new beginning here now for some of you this could be partially still an ending i feel like for for many of you you're kind of going through an ending already you're going through some some sort of a you're changing some things. So the Ten of Wands is usually work that you're doing. It's usually work that you do to help eliminate um, parts of your life that no longer are helping you. They are hurting you. So you work to eliminate aspects of your life, the, the, the activities you, that you've been taking place in, the way that you have been extending, expending, spending your energy, right? And if you think about your energy as money in a bank, and how have you been spending it? How have you, how has it been going out of your bank system within your body? And it's almost like creating a budget with your energy. Okay. Okay. This is something new that's just coming out. Interesting. So this could be a group of you. If we're talking about money here, if we're talking about love, which we um, have a focus on in this reading, although spirit seems to be having its own way of, of talking about love this week. Um, if we think about the energy that we ex expend or the energy that we spend, if we can think of it as money and, and we think of it as our body holds the bank, it is the bank account for the energy that we hold. And if we think of the energy as money, um, when we take action during the day with the activities that we take place in, what we focus our thoughts on and what we spend our time doing, we are spending that energy. And when we sleep, when we eat, when we find inspiration, when we find reju rejuvenation in our life, that's when we're building that energy back up in our bank account. And sleeping and eating are important aspects of building that energy, right? So exercise would be spending that energy. So how do we revitalize that energy within us? by eating healthy foods, by resting, by enjoyment of life, by connecting in with Mother Earth, by connecting in with the, the higher power, whatever you connect in with, whatever brings you guidance, by connecting in with that. That's how we can restock. That's how we can bring restock that energy in our bank system. So this is a group of Libra people who are working to budget how they spend their energy so they can have more reserve of energy. 
So there's something with that story for this group. Now there's a beginning here that's happening. It could have taken this beginning a little while to get going, this beginning. Now this could be a beginning in a relationship. This could be a beginning in a new way of living, a new way of being. It could be a beginning in a job or in a business. But there is a beginning here for this group of people. And I think that with this beginning, it's hard to know where it will lead. It is impossible to know where it will lead because it is up to your own design and up to your own creation. And you're just at the beginning of this with the world. So just as when we have children, when we hold our little children in our arms, we wonder, what will this child come to? Will this, you know, what can I do to help this child become a happy, healthy person who is able to fulfill his or her own dreams in life? What can I do to help this creation? So there is something here that's beginning. And I think there's a, there is a lot of thinking about and focus on how to create this in a way that it will be something that will be helpful to our own human experience and into the, and helpful to the world around us. It is an empress energy. So I am talking about a maternal energy here, the energy of the mother, the energy of the maternal, maternal focus. So there's something here that's being created by Libra. There's something here that's being built, that's being designed, because that's what the Empress does. Remember, what does the Emperor do? The Emperor energy takes that beginning, takes that creation, and puts structure to it, puts processes to it and systems to it, and creates an efficiency to it, creates a standard, and helps to make it robust. It helps to make it successful, helps to make it strong, right? That's the paternal sense. But this is the maternal energy here, the, the strength of the feminine. So there is something here that's being nurtured and, and being designed and being created. Whether it is your own life and what you would like to be able to experience in your life, whether it is your children, something that you're working on to bring into fruition, whether it is the community around you, there's something here that's starting and it's being nourished. It's being designed into creation. And, and we see you moving forward in this with the Six of Wands. You have passion. You have dedication. You have energy in your bank account that you can spend to, to bring this forward. You have energy that's waiting for the day when you can step out and say, this is me. And look what I'm doing. Look who I am. Look who I'm with. Look how I'm walking my journey. Look what I have to say. Look what I have to do. Right? The Six of Wands is stepping up in a new way. Stepping out of a former version of yourself or stepping forward with a new project, with a new job, with a new creation of some kind. And it's an energy that takes strength. It's an energy that will be somewhat expensive for your energy bank because it's something that's worth it. It's just like you won't, you, you learn how to spend money. What do I want to spend my money on? You're deciding to spend your energy on something that is so worth it for you. It has a much bigger, has a much bigger focus. And this is something that people will respect and they will be inspired by because it's a contagious type of energy. Well, if he can do this, then Maybe I could do what I've always been thinking of doing. Well, if she can do this, then I think I can do it too. I can do something that I've always wanted to do. I feel great too. It's a contagious energy. We do have the Eight of Swords here. And the Eight of Swords is, is about overcoming a mindset, overcoming something that's ha happening in reality, something that's keeping us trapped and confused. Something that's keeping our thoughts cycling in a certain way. So there is a focus here, a continual focus to restru restructure the mind. Um, and this is especially um, indicative of Libra um, and the other air signs that 
there can often be a, an over analysis, a lot of thinking going on. But what I like here is there's a lot of fire. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of emotion here. And these other energies will help you to move out of this overthinking kind of energy. Um, action, a lot of times, can trump the overthinking. So sometimes if you're in an overthinking type of energy, like um, how I did this morning, I was in my meditation, um, going through my morning learning that I do. It's the best time for me to learn and think about things. I'm quite a thinker in the morning. And I started thinking about something. I got deeper and deeper into it and deeper and deeper into it. And all of a sudden, it just didn't start. It started. It didn't feel good anymore. I got too deep in it. I got too caught up in it. I got too caught up into it into information and and different perspectives and different per opinions that we're all from human beings just like i'm a human being bringing this message forward i'm only one human being it is a message that comes through my own filter my own way of thinking and so um, i kind of got lost in that this morning and it ended up not feeling good and it's important when we get in that kind of place when we realize okay this this thinking that I'm doing is no longer helping me. It's no longer being effective in my goals. So it's almost like when we get into that more negative Eight of Swords or into this, even if this is a reality with Eight of Swords and you're kind of still working to get yourself out of a situation, you can say, how is this situation helpful for my goals, right? And it can kind of bring us back up to the top again and say, okay, let me rebalance myself here. Let me think about this a different way. And instead of saying, let, you know, let me think about this a different way, um, sometimes we say, okay, let me get up and go and do something. Let me distract myself with something because I need to get my brain, my mind to stop swirling around this. So I think these actions that you're taking, this, cre this creation that you're being involved in, you're involving yourself in, or you're participating in, or you are realizing, and you're stepping forward in a new way, is going to really help you overcome this Eight of Swords. But it is still a dynamic here that is part of this is part of this experience, and it will always, in in one way or another, be a part of this experience for you, Libra, because that is one of the challenges that air signs have as eight of swords. So it is just, in, in in other words, it is kind of just a typical reality um, of an air sign. Let me go a little bit deeper here and see if we can find something more. Let's go into the world energy. Tell us more about this world energy, the queen of pentacles. Could have something to do with business, numbers, um, procedures. It's interesting when the Queen of Pentacles is in something new. Isn't that an interesting energy? See how the energies are swirling? See this Empress energy could be focusing on the numbers. And I did talk about budget. So there could be something here as you move into the future where you're looking at the details of something. You're looking at how it can be implemented. The structure of it. There is a hardworking energy with the Queen of Pentacles as well. Hardworking, continual movement forward, knowledge of reality. So even as you're creating something new and as you're in this very creative motherly energy, um, you're keeping your feet planted and you're being realistic about something. You're being practical, which is really, really good. I think it's going to help you find success. Remember, you're, we're most successful when we can be in all four elements at one time. Look at these two ten energies just bursting up like this. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. That's inspiring, Libra. This is the goal here. This is what you're looking for. This is, you know, this is what the whole idea of this is for you, is the Ten of Pentacles. Long-term stability. Long-term success, legacy, comfort in life, right? And then we have the Ten of Cups, happiness, warm-heartedness, enjoyment and love for the people around us, finding a contented, peaceful energy, right? These are what you're striving for. And the fact that they both came up at once is quite interesting. And I'm going to put them in different places in the deck now. Now, I'm still clarifying the world energy. Let 
magician. Yep. Working, working to, to build it, creating it, right? What does a magician energy do? The magician energy understands that it's not only the belief that you have and the imagination that you have, but it's the work that you put into it. It's the passion that you have for it. And it's the love you have for yourself and for the world around you, the inspiration you have for the bigger goal of this, right? So it's about the whole soul, the heart, soul, the mind, the body, everything coming together um, to really begin to invent something new, right? To create something different, to invent something new. It is very difficult to do the magician, right? It's hard to create something new. That's why we have the Queen of Pentacles here. It's hard work. It takes consistency, right? Anyone can come up with an idea. Anyone can come up with a new invention, but it takes skill. It takes perseverance. It takes belief and consistency to make that a reality. And there are much fewer people, a small, tiny percentage of people compared to all of the ideas that we've all had. How often do we have an idea? Several times a day, probably. Well, we should do this, or wouldn't it be great if this happened? Wouldn't, well, why don't we do this? Like, how many times a day do we do that? And then think back in life. How many, ti- how many times have we moved forward and brought one of those ideas into our reality? It's, it's really um, not comparable. So when you when you really think about this group of people and how hard they're working, and what they're doing in their worlds is really commendable because we have the Queen of Pentacles here, the backbone of the economy, the backbone of, of everything that really happens is the Queen of Pentacles, making sure things happen, making sure the details are taken care of, right? Queen of Pentacles, compassionate forward movement, slow, consistent movement. movement. We all know the story about the tortoise and the hare because the Queen of Pentacles can be the tortoise most of the time. And here is a magician bringing something into fruition. And here's the world, a new beginning. If you need inspiration, here it is. Maybe people around you don't understand what you're doing or how hard you're working, but these energies understand. And my team understands. And this information is coming forward for you to find the validation in that. Let's look at the Six of Wands. Six of Wands energy. Sun. Damn. (sighs) This is where the rewards are. And there's the moon. The sun and the moon. Light and dark. Lovers. Feminine and masculine. Wow. And this is where the magic is. In creation, in development, in the maternal energy of creation, and stepping forward in a new way. And when we step forward in a new way, we can feel the power of the sun empowerment, strength, vitality, fearlessness. And maybe the next day or in the next hour, we can feel the feeling of the moon. What is my belief? What is my belief? I'm feeling scared. Maybe this won't come to be. Maybe I said the wrong thing. Maybe I'm not the person. What is my belief? See, we have to take care of the feminine energy. We have to take time. We have to find that inspiration. We have to be reminded of our goals. We have to be reminded of why we're here and what helps us get out of bed in the morning. The feminine energy, the yin energy, is just as important to this as the sun. Because without the moon energy, without the yin energy being fed and nourished, Without us having the belief there, the sun won't know where to go. We need both. 
And I think maybe that's what you're working with here is the yin energy. Because we live in a, we live in a, a masculine world, don't we? The yang energy most of the time. And what's happening here is the yin energy is gaining, the feminine energy is gaining empowerment. It's gaining focus with the shifting of the universe. We're understanding more about the maternal energy, the feminine energy, the moon energy, the yin energy in our universe. And many of us are struggling with this ace of, eight of swords because it is part of the moon energy. But look what you're doing here. This is incredible. King of Wands, creating, taking action and creating, taking action and building, taking action and designing, stepping into new frontiers, painting on blank canvases, speaking what needs to be said, presenting what needs to be presented. It's a flamboyant, energetic energy. The King of Wands can do the sun. Like nobody else. King of Wands can do the sun. That is the fuel. Ten of, ten of Pentacles. There you go. Ten of Pentacles. Safety, security, legacy, comfort in life, financial freedom, financial abundance. What is the Ten of Pentacles to you? What will help you feel safe and secure and relaxed in life? What will help you enjoy life to the fullest? This is designing it and building it and moving forward into it. This is what this group of Libras are focused on in the next few weeks. All right, I am going to move to the extended reading now. And in that extended reading, we'll take this out for the next couple of months. We'll look at the people who are around you, dig deeper into them and see how they are meshing with the Libra energy, with your energy, Libra. See what we can get out of that. Um, so for those of you that are happy with this reading, that makes me happy too. For those of you that are looking for more information or would like to stay in this energy for a longer period of time, um, feel free to move to the extended and I will carry on with this energy out into the future to kind of give us an idea of how it will move and how we can plan. All right, my friends, thank you all very much. It is a pleasure to be here. Um, I wish you all the best. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll be back on YouTube um, in, an, in another week or so. Thank you very much.